Welcome to Maine Public News Connect, original news stories from Maine Public Radio, airing weekly in Spanish, French, Portuguese, Somali, and English. I'm your host, Ari Snyder. Today is Friday, April 29th, and here are the week's top stories. A man has been arrested and charged with murder after two shootings last week left four people dead and caused widespread alarm throughout southern Maine. Joseph Eaton was charged with killing his parents and two others at a home in the town of Bowdoin last Tuesday. Eaton was arrested later that morning after shooting at vehicles on the highway near Yarmouth. Eaton has a long criminal history and had been released from state prison only days before the shooting. He had been serving a two-year sentence related to an assault charge. State investigators say they are trying to determine how Eaton was able to obtain a gun, even though he was a convicted felon. State lawmakers heard nearly five hours of testimony last week on several bills designed to strengthen labor protections for agricultural workers in Maine. The bills would ensure agricultural workers have access to overtime pay and collective bargaining rights and guarantee that they earn no less than the state's minimum wage. Some farmers and many immigrant rights organizations said they see the proposed legislation as a way to improve working conditions including for immigrant workers who play a major role in Maine's blueberry industry. But some farmers testified that the proposals would cost too much money, threatening to put their farms out of business. Another bill in the state legislature is aimed at combating hunger in Maine by increasing funding for the food security hub run by the nonprofit organization Preble Street. The funding would allow the South Portland facility to increase its production from 2,000 meals per day to 10,000. House Speaker Rachel Talbot Ross says food insecurity affects more than 11% of Maine households, or about 153,000 people each year. She said existing food aid programs are not meeting the need. The bill would allocate $2 million in state funding to help Preble Street increase the amount of food it can process, cook, and freeze. A group of construction workers in Portland who also play in a band together have released their first album. The group, called Bundeco, includes a guitar player from France, a drummer from Guinea, and an accordion player from Albania. The group started playing together a few years ago, blending musical styles from their varied backgrounds. They traveled to Albania last year to record their first album. Orson Horkler, the band's leader, said the group is a reflection of the changing demographics and cultural influences in Maine's largest city. This has been Maine Public News Connect. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Thank you to our excellent community partners for supporting and contributing to this program. We are happy to collaborate on this project with the monthly multimedia publication Amjambo Africa, our official media partner. Maine Public News Connect has been made possible by individual supporters and foundations from across Maine, as well as the Ku and Patricia Yun Foundation, Seaport Credit Union, Hannaford Supermarkets, Maine Housing, and IDEX. Maine Public News Connect is made possible by Ku and Patricia Yuen, committed to bridging cultural differences in our communities. Juntos. Ensemble. What a year. Punto. Seaport Credit Union, together. Hannaford Supermarkets, celebrating the diversity of its employees, customers, and communities, and committed to fostering a welcoming environment. Together, they're greater than groceries. Learn more at Hannaford.com. Has paying your mortgage been a struggle since COVID-19? The Maine Homeowner Assistance Fund could help you may be eligible for up to $50,000 in aid. Apply today at mainhomeownerhelp.org.